Hey everyone, welcome to Board and Break Behind the Scenes. My name is Steve, and I'm here with a lovely and talented... Lauren. Lauren. <laughs> Lauren Thompson. <laughs> Uh, today we shot three videos, one of them being the Sports Illustrated Swimsuits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Issue. Controversy with the controversy with controversy. the uh, plus size bottle. What personally what do you think about something like that? I think I think it's a step in the right direction. I think um, I do think obviously it is a swimsuit magazine, so men wanna see what they wanna see, but I think that that is what needs to be changed, and I think that we are taking steps towards doing that. I read something the other day too about um, a model that was like 300 pounds or something, and she was the first model of that weight bracket to get in. And I've also seen that they're having the first Down syndrome uh, female model walk the cat run oh, last no week. Yeah, really, which oh, is really cool. That is very cool. Yeah. So, do you know anybody who still buys Sports Illustrated swimsuit? I mean, they probably wouldn't admit it. I don't really date guys that <laughs> buy those magazines. But I guess it's like, just like any other type of porn. Do you see this porn? No. <laughs> Another video we did was the um, Susie B8, where you got to act as an older lady. <laughs> Old. <laughs> older lady. I kept getting younger and southern. <laughs> Do you enjoy character pieces as, as opposed to just being funny or doing something sarcastic on camera? Uh, yeah, it's really fun. Um, you can kind of practice your like sketch comedy chops a little bit. Um, and practice, I mean, just like pull it out of your butt mostly. Um, you but it's fun. so well. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I do things out of my butt a lot. Now, okay, here's the question. Um, when you see like me or Julianne laughing <laughs> behind uh -huh. the camera, yeah. do you know you're onto something or do you do you find that more of a distraction? Um, no, laughter is always good. I mean, any actor that doesn't admit that they like when people laugh at what they do is lying. But um, obviously it's more just a sound distraction where you're like, okay, I gotta do it again because you're <laughs> laughing. But I think it's good. I think it gives the, it helps get the energy going energy. of what you're doing. And then it gives you an affirmation that you're in the right direction. Cause you're like, when you're doing comedy, you just have to broad comedy, you throw yourself out there and right. you don't know. Sometimes you're like, is this funny? <laughs> and then if you get a little feedback, you're like, okay, like keep trying that or like keep going down that path. I've always thought, I had a professor in college tell me comedy is a lot harder than drama. And I was like, that's not true. I'm so funny. And she was right. It's really hard. It's really hard. Yeah. And the third video we did was the pay it forward that had to do with mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, father and daughter, very touching. Um, why don't you tell Warden Breakers what charity we were working for or helping out in that situation. Do you remember? Yes, I do remember, of course. Um, it was called Girls on the Run, and actually one of our fellow hosts, Jen, um, sweet, talented Jen, uh, used to work for the organization that helps girls find focus in their lives with athletics and activities that are tangible to help them um, keep on track in their lives and make goals and achieve them and um, do something um, powerful and positive in their lives. So it's a really great organization. So we here at Board and Break are actually doing a little charity of ourselves and with every story that you guys tweet out and hashtag shoot, I forgot the hashtag. BB, Board and Break, pay it forward. BBPIF. There you go. With every hashtag that you put, we will donate $10 to the Girls on the Run Foundation. Every time I hear that, sorry, I just want to sing, who run the world, girls? Who run the world, girls? It's a Beyonce is that, song. Is it Beyonce? Who run this mother? Who run this mother? Girls. I'm so old, I was thinking of uh, Spice Girls. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't know. I, don't I was know. like in fifth grade when Spice Girls were popular. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you remember your first video that you ever did for Board and Break? I do, I do. I, it was back in the day. Uh, it was really fun, I, was, uh, I remember we were standing in front of a green screen and we had a little lapel mic on um, and I was wearing a red dress. And oh my gosh, what was it about though? 
Was it, it was a movie, movie review. review. That was okay. it was a movie review. It was it? which one was it? Nymphomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> That's can't believe I forgot. Nymphomaniac with Shia LaBeouf. Still haven't seen it. <laughs> what do you think about Born and Breaks New Direction, and as to looking at women in pop culture? Um, I think it's really great. I think it kind of balances comedy and. Um, pop culture with things that matter at the end of the day. Um, we kind of have an undertone of um, a genuine, um, independent, strong, um, women-focused uh, vibe, I would say. Um, and so I think it's, it's really great that you can still have fun um, and do the videos and poke fun at things, but at the, at the, you know, at the end of the day, we have a voice that is um, gonna raise up a new generation of young women that are strong and, and enabled in the in the world. Well, that's it for Border Break <laughs> behind the scenes. Hope you had a good time. Um, that's it for now. We'll see you later. My name is Steve, and I'm Lauren, and we'll see you later. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say see you next time, so I was like. Ah. Ah. <laughs>